um, speakers. Uh, I got a bunch of DVD stands for like a buck each. And these are these are major stores. These are like these are Targets, Walmart, Best Buys. They all have a nice little section just for the stuff that they don't want anymore. So please take advantage of clearance. That's awesome. Just be sure to read the box before you buy it. Last week I bought a ukulele for us, and then it turned out to not have any strings or even be a ukulele. So <laughs> <laughs> it was roughly this big, and it was a block of wood. <laughs> But was it real wood? I cannot verify. I am not a wood Maybe expert. Maybe it's a DIY ukulele kit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta get a, We gotta get a gamer girl. Just so, you know, we gotta get one of those fake gamer girls to play a ukulele. That's the that's the test. If you give them a ukulele, if they can play it or not, then they're. <laughs> so you're saying I should rebuy the fake ukulele so we can test people? <laughs> yes. Just throw it at them. Say, make it work. <laughs> throw it at Zoe Zeshnell. She'll write you a concert or something. <laughs> All right. So. All right, so um, next we're going to have Mauricio uh, talk about, because uh, a lot of times that we, that we can, um, this is a specific to our situation, but we try to write um, a little bit of our music for it, because um, uh, he's a talented musician. Uh, Patrick's uh, talented. He actually plays uh, trumpet and bagpipes. Um, Mauricio's boring and traditional. He can just play, you know, guitar, bass, drums, accordion. I heard you play the spoons once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I was a baby. You know, I heard um, sometimes you play a playa. Didn't you play the player. You don't play the. You play the game. You don't play the player. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah. So he's actually he's brought his guitar and he's gonna show you a few of the um, uh, of the quick tricks because we don't do we're not they're not masterpieces but they're um uh, they're nice little chords that uh, uh what you call it that can uh, really improve your your video quality. In fact, the one that we're gonna show you uh we scored almost entirely. I think there's a few sound in there that um uh, a few sounds in there that I just took or that were free that were you know um uh, I didn't steal them, but uh, that you got from, that I got from the internet. So go ahead, Mauricio. Thank you, Ooh. Justin. Lovely intro. Big, big clap. For um, show of hands, how many people can uh, play uh, a guitar? Who doesn't? Okay, there you go. Um, so, <laughs> yes, it does. That's how I started. <laughs> yeah, um, he, yeah. How many? So, <laughs> when you try to make your own video and you want to score it, um, sorry about that. Um, it really doesn't matter how much you know. In fact, the less experience you have the better because then weirder music comes out. Um, so. Mauricio, how, how many lessons have you had uh, guitar-wise? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to spitball here. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to try just to make a little a little music piece if you say that. Okay, so it's just really basic. Can you hear that right? Okay, good. So if you can drag that out, eventually you get some kind of feeling and some kind of idea that you want your video to do. And that actually sounds like the beginning to um, uh, what was it? Uh, what was that game where you just threw paint blobs at everything and on the PlayStation Network? I don't know. I forgot the name of it. What's it? Unfinished Swan. Yeah, it sounds like this just sounds like when you're exploring around. Even that, that was just two. That was just two notes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, eventually you're gonna get bored of just playing these two notes. You're gonna throw some more notes around. Then you get even more bored. So you'll get even. Until you have something that you want to put on your video, and. Uh, when you, when you thank you um, when you're doing uh, stuff with electric guitar or any electric instrument um, feedback sounds really scary when you turn it up and yeah it does um, you can make a really scary video with that hit the strings makes really really scary noise uh, we actually made that was part of our limbo video and it came out it came out pretty good yeah literally we just I, I invited you over because I, I was like hey listen I want you to actually score this video I want it to be like really creepy and you're like okay and um I don't think you played that many notes I think you really just um uh, you like just hit the hit your bass and you like you listen to the reverb on it uh and it sounded all the way up. it's still it, that video actually still kind of um, uh, scares me a little bit I'm a little bit scared <laughs> and there's all you did was like you know you just did the the capo and you yeah all you, all you do is just turn it slider. all the way up turn the distortion on and just put it really close to the amp so it just screams at you and it's just so disturbing 
What they're leaving out of this story is that they also asked me to come over, so I brought over my entire kit and 40 pounds of instruments, and then I got there and he hit the guitar twice and we were done. <laughs> Bagpipes really don't, they're not scary and they don't travel well. <laughs> they're cool, it's cool that you can play that. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you already have a guitar, that's great. You you have any any kind of instrument, that's amazing. You have pots and pans in your kitchen. I'm sure you have some of those. You bang those around to make some noise. We we remember the last the last thing that we used was a pot. Was we actually just hit yeah, a pot and like, put reverb on it. It made this gong sound. <laughs> it was so yeah. bad. It was kind of. It good. was good. It was hilarious. Yeah, you're you're a traitor. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, anyway. All right. So um, uh, one of the last things, uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about is I'm gonna get around and move. Uh, maybe not that much. All right, so I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that we've um, uh, that we've built. Um, Please bring that over here. Thank you. Woo! Oh, that's sunk. I didn't realize how comfy these things were. So, this is our um, uh, lighting fixture. We have uh, f we technically have four of these. We only, we have only ever used uh, three at one time. Uh, what this is is um, here, actually, Patrick. I'll tell you what. What this is is you can kind of see um, uh, this is one PVC pipe that I um, uh, what you call it that I just cut up. Um, it's a little bit unstable right there at the bottom, um, just because like I, I was really going budget and I just wanted to use uh, just one. Oh, do I have a wireless mic? Sweet. There we go. Can you get that in there for me? Thank you. Thanks, girl. All right, so we need, uh, there we go. All right, so what this is is uh, our lighting situation. Uh, I just cut up the base. I just knew that I'm. Um, uh, I, I did look at YouTube for this, and I um. Uh, I, I took a basic model. I've, I don't think the. I think the, yeah, mine was the budget one because I didn't want to use um. I didn't want to create a fourth leg and you know spend more money. Because uh, I would have had an. an I would have had to buy an entirely new pipe for um spark for spare parts. So um uh, it's just right there. Uh, let me see here. This one I think is about six feet. Yeah, it's about uh. Yeah, about six feet. I just cut this one about six feet. Um, it fits about in the in the doorway, so this is probably about all you're gonna need uh, size-wise, and then it fits in um, right there, so it's about six and a half. Uh, the light, or the light clamp right here, moves. It's awesome. I can readjust it however I want. This is probably the most expensive part, and it's um uh, it's ten to twelve dollars. Um, but they have these in every Lowe's, every Home Depot in America. They're gonna have one of these. And then finally, um, hold on one second. So, um, you can see these lights come with a clamp, and um, uh, lighting companies would like you to believe that this would keep it on. That is a lie. That is a lie that they have fed you. So what you do is you get this 50 cent clamp, and just clamp it on the back. It's actually a pain in the butt. There we go. There it goes. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Yeah! But anyway, yeah, I'm doing this all one-handed. And then everything else parts they're 30 cents a piece, so I'm out. So every lighting fixture cost me about $25, because the, the, the pole itself, like I said, I only use one, is nine to $10, somewhere in there. Um, so you're looking at $25 per lighting rig. Now, um, $25 isn't that much in the grand scale, but for us, $25 is, uh, it's like, that's a week food. of food. That's like f a week of meals for both of us. And that's if I'm going to like Popeye's on Tuesdays and Thursdays. By the way, I don't know if you know this, Popeye's Tuesdays and Thursdays, $2. Um, a dark meat Woo. for a dollar. So good, Woo. so cheap. That's the other thing. Find food that's a, that's budget. It's really easy. Um, anyway, uh, other than that, where am I going? Oh, right. Um, but uh, 25 bucks, a little bit expensive, but I do think it's worth it. Most lighting um, things are going to cost you, I think, 170 bucks. You'll get like a three set for 170 bucks, and if you can save up for it, it's going to get you a really nice light. Um, uh, these ones... Their only drawback, really, is I don't have a lot of control over around the cone. So if something wants to be really bright, I have to either move it back or I have to move, I have to uh, direct the light upwards or something. Uh, but on the other hand, it's a lot easier to move these things around than it is a professional light rig. They're a lot more maneuverable. Absolutely. And one of the things that um, I have always seen in uh, how-to videos on YouTube, like making your own light thing, is they always tell you use the PVC uh, glue primer to get all these in. Um, that's nice if you if you have like space to keep all these. I have four of these, um, and my apartment doesn't allow for all that space. So the fact that I can take this all apart, just put it in a corner. Um, I have I have uh, uh, three of these that I just kind of keep around. 
I kind of keep those stacked. Those are the most um, uh, ungainly part. Just wrap everything up, and it's really storable for just not using, um, uh, what is it, uh, the primer. Next thing I'm going to do is, is uh, show you guys is um, our Steadicam that we use very little, but I still like that we have the option for it for, um, uh, uh, what's, it? what's that, man? Oh, thanks. All right, cool. So um, Steadicam, really, really basic. We just took a, a fatter piece so that we have a little bit more support. Um, a triangle, uh, what is it? A T block or T pipe, T splitter. I don't know words. Uh, I don't know pipes. I just buy them. Uh, and then we have two like, kind of just sticking out right here. That way I can kind of maneuver around like this, and it keeps it generally still. It's not as good as a professional one, clearly, because it's made out of pipes, but it works really, really well. And all you do right here on the top is, you know, like I said, it's uh, very storable, very storable. <laughs> Store it on the ground wherever you want. Um, the important part is what I have is this. It's just the cap that I bought. The cap is like, you know, 20 cents. Um, you find someone who has a, some type of drill and just um, find, find the screw that fits your camera. Drill that right through the middle and just kind of hold it in. And you've got a nice little steady cam. Super cheap. I think this one was, I think I had some spare. I think these were, were spare from something else I was trying to build. And uh, I think the big one is uh, another 10 bucks, but still. $10, uh, $15 Steadicam, not bad, not bad at all. Um, one thing that I'm going to mention, uh, we didn't bring it because it was, we, you know, if, you see, if you've seen us walking around, the, uh, walking around today, our hands have been very, very full. But um, one of the things I didn't bring was we just bought a piece of wood. A piece of wood is one of the most useful things if you shoot outdoors. Um, it's, I think it was... Two feet by three feet. Yeah, it was, I think, $10. I think I got two other ones that I lost a long time ago. But the other side... Mm, Pardon me. The other side of it was actually uh, aluminum foil. So not only did it double as a wind board, what we do is um, uh, put in front of the camera so you know, if the wind's blowing, yeah, like such, camera's right here, no wind can blow into it. That is one of the greatest inventions of all time, a piece of wood. That is the number one thing all YouTubers need if they're going to shoot outside. But um, uh, we don't, like I said, we don't shoot too much outside, but when we do, we use that wind blocker, and it's probably the best 10 bucks you can spend. Windy, that is the worst. Th I'm sorry, I took the mic away. That is the worst sound um, when I watch things on YouTube. What's it? What's it? Oh, uh, the noise removal. I oh, like the noise removal on there. No. Ab absolutely, and I do, and I do have noise removal stuff. Um, and it's um, I. Use it. For, I use it a fair amount. Um, oh, like I said, we we use our road one. That's you know that, that is a great suggestion. Um, I was gonna get that get to that um, uh, about like programs that we use. Uh, but yeah, uh, Audacity. Most editing services have some type of um, uh, have uh, a way to filter out wind. I just like the piece of wood. Piece of wood is um, my best friend. Sometimes the software is not enough. Yeah, sometimes yeah, sometime, yeah, because uh, the THQ one that we did was uh, that was too windy. And we, also yeah. because of the reflection from the foil. That's it. Remember we used that as a sort of light, reflect from the sun. Who are you? Was that on the THQ? No. Hmm. no. What Mauricio is referring to, the board we have has aluminum foil pasted onto the back of it. So when we are doing outside shots and the light is not sufficient, we use it to reflect the light oh, to yeah, the correct right. position. All right, so, all right, so um, uh, real quick, because I'm actually... Oh, well, I'm actually There's old. just nothing like having your best friend lying on the hot asphalt street, reflecting light into your face. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but um, uh, what is it? All right, um, uh, so the last thing... Uh, th but I think that's all we build. That's all that we've, um, uh, that we've built. And they're useful items. We don't build uh, too much. Um, there's more stuff that I want to build. It's just, you know... Times are hard, you know. And also, we're not good at it. I'm, f I'm fantastic at it. Look at my, look at all my stuff that keeps falling apart. It is craftsmanship of the highest caliber. All right. So, um, uh, last thing I actually want to talk about uh, is the is what you need to buy and what's free. Two sides of um, uh, of a fairly ugly. One side is a very ugly coin. Um, of course, you do need to if you're doing sketch sketches like we do. Uh, you do need to buy a camera, unless you have an iPhone. In which case, you guys are you, you're great. I just you know, I wish I had an iPhone. Um, but you do need to buy some type of camera. I think I mentioned earlier about you know like paying for features that you don't need like like Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a buzzword feature. Um, but things like things to look for in a camera. Um, 
a lot of places are going to try to sell you on uh, megapixels. Like this is what we use. This is a Samsung uh, WB150. It is last year's uh, Samsung's uh, big, uh, big in quotation marks, uh, point and shoot camera. Uh, it works really, really well. It's got a nice uh, wide angle. Its lens is a little bit wider, so we get a little bit more of a sh in a shot. Close ups are a little bit awkward, but hey, we work around it. Um, I think we got the, what do we get that? We got that one on clearance for 150 bucks. Yep. And that was, and that was, uh, that was a drop in the bucket, but it was still, um, it was still, I say worth it. Really, really worth it for this camera. Um, also, like I said, like I mentioned before, uh, there are clearance sales, and these clearance sales do, not, like I said, I got this on clearance. These clearance sales are not exclusive, are, um, uh, are not just exclusive to regular prop items. Cameras go on um, uh, clearance all the time. I can think of, be of a Best Buy that has uh, probably five cameras, decent cameras, uh, for 150 bucks right now. And they're just sitting alone on their little, on their little clearance aisle. Um, a lot of people try to worry about megapixel. Megapixel is great for a really good picture. Um, fun fact: megapixels, um, but camera megapixels actually really really hurt video. So you know, if you get like a Nikon uh, with like 25 megapixels, you know, it's going to be a very nice picture, but your video is going to suffer. Um, most cameras, when you set it to um, uh, to video mode, has have a, like a three megapixel um, uh, camera. On, uh, what you call it? on like the Sony's and everything, they have like really, really little uh, megapixels. Oh yeah, time check. Okay, yeah. But other than that, um, other things that you do need that I personally that we bought was um, our tripod right there. Uh, that was uh, thirty-five dollars at a Walmart. Um, you know, because sometimes he's gone half the year, so when it's just us, uh, we do tend. You know, when we're also holding that microphone. Um, and tripod is nice. You can find cheap ones. Um, I tell people all the time, it's like, you know, the reason why tripods get more expensive, other than like the, the clearly good ones, is because of what they're made out of. And, you know, like this one, this one is plastic and like really cheap metal. So if I were to throw it off, you know, a bridge, it would break. I'm not going to throw it off a bridge. I'm just going to let it kind of hang around. Um, other a than nice alternative to buying a tripod. If any of you still have your old rock band kits around the microphone stand, you can remove the mic holder and it just has a screw on top. Most um, microphones will be able to screw right onto that. Who still has that mic stand? That's a lot of I mics. have three. <laughs> Did you shake? Oh, you want a fourth one? Sure. All right, cool. I am trying to get rid of all that crap. You won't take my guitar, though. I have four guitars. I don't need more. You need a fifth one. You now have an Xbox. Now you need an Xbox one. Um, and one last thing. This is really... Oh, well, well two more things, actually. Uh, is going to be editing software. Uh, editing software can be as low, like good... Uh, there's the Sony ba the Sony Vegas uh, Basic for uh, 40 bucks. I've seen it um, go at, like, a Target. Um, Sony Vegas, uh, the, the Basic one, I've never used it, but it's... I've heard nice things about like more advanced Sony's Sony pro uh, Sony products. Yeah, I got um I got a thumbs up over there. Um, uh, Premier, I we use Premier Elements. I think I spent a hundred dollars on Premier Elements because I just wanted I wanted a um uh, a great deal of control. And you know, and Premier was um Pr Premier Elements is probably the best uh, budget uh, the best the best uh, budget uh, editing software. Uh, that's still really good. Now, bear in mind, there are cheaper ones out there that can work really well, but what you get out of them will be what you put into them. I used to use a video pad. It is absolutely free, but I am way too lazy to practice with it all the time, so my stuff looks like crap. <laughs> so, And the last thing that we're going to is, is um, uh, something that we splurged on. I got um, some nice money for, you know, a, a, I think birthday uh, is what I got it for, and I bought a, um, a Rode microphone. Uh, it's a directional shotgun microphone. It's a, oh yeah, please open up the box. Because we brought it with us. Um, Drum started, roll. Oh, it's already out. <laughs> yeah. And that's our road microphone. Um, uh, it's really, oh, it's kind of bent at the end. Why is it bent at the end? Uh, okay, this is just a suck. Yeah, just the <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> yeah, um, that's really, really great. Uh, that'll cover up on its own. It'll cover up a lot of the noise. Um, it's really great for, um, I don't know if you guys were here earlier for the sound check, um, but Patrick sometimes speaks a little softly, and so, but that's... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what? Come again? <laughs> yeah, and that's like really great for, um, for him, and even for us, like that way we don't have, it's really quiet, because even when you just take a still, uh, still video, sometimes you hear like an AC in the background, or you hear just something humming, and when you switch scenes, um, uh, and that sound's not there, that does make, um, uh, you, can, you can hear it very clearly. And so we splurged on that. That was 180, I believe. I ordered that from Amazon, um, but I am in love with it. And I uh, and that's that actually concludes uh, what we've um, uh, what we've bought. Now, what we're going to show you right now is we're going to show you a video um, uh, 
about uh, that we made. This is for our YouTube yes. channel, uh, Gamer Fumes. Um, and uh, let me plug this in. We are about to show you a video oh, yeah. that cost us all of uh, four ninety nine. <laughs> Just, just so, just so you guys know, um, that's not that that I didn't um, uh, specifically choose that for uh, uh, for the con. I just have that. Nicholas Clinton is is a dreamboat. She's a darling. <laughs> She's a peach. But uh, what we wanted to show you was uh, what we make uh, using these, you know, using everything that we um, uh, that we're preaching. Uh, we're trying to show you, and you know, it's like I said, you're, it's not going to be. It's going to be. Um, uh, it's going to be budget. It's it's a budget. Um, uh, it's a budget comedy film. Com comedy short. I'm sorry. It's only six minutes. I'm not keeping you here forever. When he says budget, he means four ninety nine. Yeah, technically that's all we spent on this because we couldn't find a shovel at the. Um, uh, in fact, I'm upset that we spent. Uh, four. Yeah, please get her. Get her in the center. <laughs> um. No, oh, you're stealing the show, aren't you? <laughs> um. So we're gonna show you that real quick. Uh, this is our um uh, our season finale because we're self important. So, um, uh, probably right there. You got the music on. Turn it off. You never turned off the intro music. It's just been going this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> has it? Yes, it has. You didn't notice? <laughs> okay, well, you know, have you guys been enjoying it? Have you guys been grooving? <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, you know what? I don't know why you're getting on my case battery. So, all right. So, um, this. I may have to um, uh, adjust the sound in a moment. So, uh, this is our Animal Crossing parody. We're being evicted. <laughs> the prophecy. Prophecy. The prophecy of the napkins. Damn, Risha, this is serious. Wake up, bum! We're getting evicted! Uh, what? No, you can't get evicted. If you get evicted, where am I gonna sleep? Hopefully at your house! Well, I'll just take my things and leave them. Yo, you have no things, so it's my thing! Put my thing down! Guys! Animal Crossing! What? Uh, it's been staring us in the face! An evil landlord. All the cool stuff we have on our walls. And Patrick's giant KK Slider eyebrows! Hey. Mauricio, you can't use video game logic on everything. What? Sure I can. It worked when I Call of duty that door-to-door -door salesman. That was a Girl Scout. But it worked. He's got a point. It's clear. We go talk to the guy, do some chores, and we go on living. I guess we can just go talk to him. I got new tenants in half an hour. They're expecting this place empty. Mr. Landlord, instead of evicting us, we could do a bunch of chores for you, such as fishing, shaking trees, and digging a fuck. <laughs> no more games. One second. One game. One game. If you win, we'll leave. No problems. But if we win, we get to stay. How about we don't play a game and I kick you out anyway? That sounds like a sweeter deal. What if we throw in Justin's Dreamcast? Deal, but I picked the game. 
Yeah, sure. We've got uh, Smash Brothers, uh, Halo, uh, arm wrestling. What? That's not a real game. You can't just call that. Either re wrestle with the arms, or I deal some harm. Well, which one of us is going to step to that muscle? I'll do it. This time, it's personal. Nicholas Clinton is um, looking at you all with approval. <laughs> all right, so that's um, uh, like I said, that's that's what we use. That's what uh, that's what our setup um, looks like. I mean, we're always looking to improve, but um, that's what you can do. Uh, which you know, we tried to roll out everything we could on that, but that's what you can do uh, with a budget setup. I mean, everything like that shovel was the only thing that we needed to buy for that occasion. Just remember, there's nothing wrong with starting small. Uh, what was it? I mean, you're gonna you're gonna help me out with this one. What? Jack White uh, said that. Uh, providence doesn't, or was it? No, no, no. Uh, privilege doesn't uh, doesn't breed um, creativity. Like I, I, you know, this is gonna go back to what I said earlier. Every single one of us can be creative. We can tell a story. Like you don't need effects to tell a story. Maybe you need a little bit of training, but other than that, you can tell the story that you want to tell on YouTube, and you don't need to spend that much money to do it. Like I said, if you got a camera and a pocket full of dreams, then you know all that. All that good stuff, uh, you know, inspirational, inspirational. So it's true. It's true. The less technology you have, the more it brings out of you. I'm because you have to, you know, you got to struggle with whatever you have. It makes it makes you feel good when you do something good with the little, whatever little you have. Yeah. And so, um, uh, real quick, oh, real quick, anyone who in the stream that's watching this, uh, you can watch that at uh, youtube.com slash gamerfumes. I'm not sure what the quality was on that, so um, if you want to watch that or pause that. So this last, uh, these last 10 minutes, we're actually going to open up for uh, Q&A for if anyone has any questions about anything that we've um, uh, covered or not covered. Uh, just come up and ask us whatever you guys want. So please line up or leave, whichever you want to do. I'm, I'd rather you ask me a question. So. Well, that's disheartening. <laughs> you guys are all fired from the slow clap brigade. Oh, I'm sorry. I, di I didn't mention this. Um, uh, please line up with the microphone. Uh, that's uh, that's the that's the system that they're going to be doing. So, if you have a question, please line up with the microphone. Uh, sir, please go ahead and. Uh, uh, what's your name? Ricky. Yeah, Ricky. What's up, Ricky? What's your question, man? Um, where y'all do your recording? I mean, is it here in Austin or? Oh no. Uh, what we, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what we do is I literally take that microphone. 
and I just um, put it in front of his guitar or I put it in front of his amp. And I think he meant, uh, what's that? What city? Oh, what that city? You were asking? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you meant the music. Uh, yeah, we were in San Antonio. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I thank you for your question. Next up. What's up? Hey guys, I'm Chris. I'm here with my uh, podcasting crew down there, Load Bearing Bosses, which High internet, loadbearingbosses.com. Check us out. This hey, don't shout out. Plug. Don't shameless plug during our shameless plug. plug. Shout out. Shit. It is tied to my question, I promise you. It's What's not up? just a shameless plug. That's just a benefit. So let's say you've already got a product in place. Since advertising is crazy as balls expensive, how do you guys got the word out there about your channel oh. to gain viewers in the first place? Oh, um, like I said, well, right now we still don't have a big following. Like We're still really small, but we have... Um, Two, uh, we have two things that have actually gotten really big. One, or three things, I guess. One is the Far Cry, uh, is our Far Cry 3 Twinkies video, which, um, that was not a joke. We literally did that. He played Voss. He has like, a good accent. Mm -hmm. But, um, and same thing for our Dead Space 3 video. Both the ways that they, um, uh, that they got famous was we actually just uploaded them to cheeseburger.com. We just thought <laughs> those were probably the most uh, marketable videos. They were just like, yeah, if someone watches this, they can watch this one off and absolutely love it. Um, I didn't. I forgot to mention that. I'm a, and um, ac we we're actually running out of time. I never would have yeah. expected that. No, I never. Thought but we'd um, go over. yeah, we um, the notoriety we've achieved is through um, um is through cheeseburger, and we have one thing through Tumblr. Uh, I don't know if anyone has ever seen the um the Black Eyed Peas uh the Black Eyed Peas. You open it up and it says how to play place knife into ear. Um, yeah, it's uh, but that was our first. That was that's us. That's my, my hands. Those are that was our very first. Well, not our very, very first, but um, uh, that was the first uh, sketch of our season, and uh, we just we were like that's a funny that's a funny two picture set or well four picture set at first, then it got taken down to two. But that's that actually got us a good chunk of people who um uh, who wanted to follow who wanted to follow us, and so um, utilizing Tumblr, utilizing Cheeseburger, utilizing anything, using like, like Twitter. If you're very active on Twitter, if you can get followers that way. Um, the social, a lot of these social media sites, it's very easy, especially with Tumblr, it's very easy to start following someone on Tumblr. And if they like your stuff, just, you know, and they like, if they like your stuff consistently, you put out a video and they're like, oh, hey, you know, I like this guy enough. I'll put, I'll watch one of his videos. And they love it and they subscribe and, you know, all that fun stuff. Other stuff we've tried includes leaving business cards tacked around the bulletin boards at my school. <laughs> I don't know how much success we've had out of that, but I also have a shameless plug for us on my uh, spot pass greeting, so. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, by the way, uh, and, and one more thing about that is Gamer Fumes. Gamer Fumes, Gamer Fumes YouTube. No, but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, just there's other things that are free. Tumblr is free. Cheese, uploading to Cheese is free. Uh, like I said, the way we get it on, we get it upvoted on Cheese. I put it on Facebook and say, "Hey, everyone that I know, please upvote this," and it goes to the vote page. So, um, yeah, does that answer your question? Yeah, that's good. Thanks. Guys. All right, cool. Thank Appreciate you. It. Woo! All right. Oh, um, Canada left. I was gonna do. A, I was gonna have him do a last slow clap later. Oh, there you are. Okay, cool. What's <laughs> up, man? Uh, my name is Will. What's up, Will? And. Um, Y'all have done a uh, YouTube on based on sketch comedy and all that, but what if someone wants to get into uh, gameplay, like load bearing bosses? I heard y'all did gameplays and let's plays and stuff. <laughs> Woo! Another shout out. Clip. I'm sorry, I, I'm not with them. I, they just <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm they kidding. gave me free candy. I'm sorry. What? No, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. What's up? <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> for uh, okay, for for those gaming, um, see that's 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 the thing. Um, there is a deep dark hidden YouTube channel where we tried to do a let's play of Harley's Revenge. One, it looked bad because my computer. This is like this is two gigabytes of RAM. This is awful. Um, uh, so it didn't it didn't look good. But okay. Um, but what is it? As for for gameplay, uh, I guess just be entertaining. That's the thing. I've seen a lot of uh, you, you know you, we're all Rooster Teeth fans, right? We're all Achievement Hunter fans. What the thing that's probably different about them as a, and uh, Game Grumps has also gotten really really popular. I, I liked Game Grumps for for a while there. Yeah, rest in peace, John. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I'm looking forward to more JonTron, though. But uh, be entertaining more than you want to be helpful. I mean, you may know a lot about a game, and that's that's really great. And there's going to be, you know, you're going to get a little bit, a little bit of success. But my favorite ones that I love to watch are Rooster Teeth, uh, Game Grumps, and I like I love Two Best Friends play. Yeah. I have yeah. get hype, get hype. <laughs> Wooly versus Daigo. I'm hoping for a rematch this year at Evo. Wooly, Wooly does suck. Everybody out there what? watching the thingy, what? Wooly sucks. Wooly sucks. What? Wooly sucks. Wooly sucks. No! Zero, stop saying Wooly! Guys, 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 guys. Okay. I don't I even alienate to the audience. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Anyway, anyway. Um, uh, yeah. 
I would just say try to be more entertaining. I mean, constant, um, uh, constant energy towards the camera. And that's, um, uh, like, as for breaking out, I mean, that's just something that people have to find. Uh, try to do something popular, like same thing, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, just, you know, even um, uh, just screen cap and write uh, captions for, like, a funny thing that you said and then what happened. Like, you know, if something exploded and uh, it barely misses you and you say your catchphrase or whatever, you screen cap that, put that on Tumblr, people are going to wonder where that came from. So, as far as equipment goes, it's pretty simple. You're going to want a microphone, a game capture device, and probably Audacity, a free audio editing system. Yeah. That's pretty much all you're going to need for that sort of thing. So, so did we answer Plus your question, games. kind of? Mm, yeah, basically. All right, all right. Thanks a lot, Will. <laughs> all right. What's your name, man? Uh, my name's Austin. What's up, Austin? Oh, sweet, Austin and uh, Austin. Yeah. <laughs> Get hype. Uh, I've gotten out a lot today. Oh, that's um, cool. Oh, good. I'm on original. <laughs> thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'd just like to say. Um, my mic stand right now is a tennis bag, and my pop filter is a paper plate cut out with a uh, piece of notebook paper over it. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> God bless your little soul. <laughs> you know, 17-year-old, full-time no, school abso sports, absolutely. all that. I was so there. what has been, like, the worst, not, not the worst, but, like, uh, the most ghetto thing you've ever rigged to make a video? <laughs> oh, um, I mean, like, we've... Okay, so you know that, that last shot where he's like, um, uh, who we're going to get to step to that muscle, um, uh, and then the pop. We had to call my friend over, first of all, but the whole, like, ah, ghetto rig, I don't know if this really, this really answers it, but probably the best thing I can think of is when, he, uh, when, when, I, uh, when we, me and him stand up, Patrick's holding the microphone down here because we don't have a fifth friend. And, um, uh, <laughs> and, I, tell, and I literally tell him, like, as the camera comes in, I want, I was like, okay, Patrick, I just want you to follow the camera and get that. And that, we do that stuff more than anything. Like, half the time um, that we're being filmed, we're also recording our own audio. <laughs> like, just right down here. Um, uh, but other than that, I don't think that any kind of setups. Um, okay, so I'm very adamant about filming things. We, our Far Cry 3 video, uh, we did it all. Like, we did the, uh, you know, do you know what, uh, definition of insanity. I'm going to try to wrap the, um, go a little bit quicker. But anyway, um, I'm holding the camera the entire time, so and I want to get a shot of um, uh, of my hands bound. So I go, and Patrick Patrick's laying behind me, and I just go. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, all right, man. Does that awesome? Does that answer your question? Oh, oh yeah, that's great. All right, awesome, man. All right, all right. What's up, bro? What's your name? Uh, my name is Dakota. What's up, Dakota? Yeah. Okay, ah. what's up? I swear that wasn't me. All right, let's try to get like a few more in like real quick, like three minutes. Okay. Um, if you wanted to start like a gaming commentary comedy, basically what Rooster Teeth does, mm -hmm. uh, obviously there's no way that you could get as popular as they do in a short amount of time. But never what, never. Is, okay. what is some of the cheap stuff that you could do? Like he, he mentioned Audacity. What about for video capture software? What is your recommendation Ooh. on that? See, here's the... Here, rocks, well... Uh, yeah, for yeah, okay, so who? So who? In the, I'm gonna. I'm, we're gonna. We're gonna pull this. Uh, what is a? Because uh, again, we don't. I bought a Roxio game capture because I was like, okay, 75 bucks. We're probably gonna want to do game capture stuff. That seemed like a deal because I didn't know anything about it, and that's that was falling on my. That was really falling on my uh, on my part. I didn't. I was like, I, I've got. This is what happens when I have money. This is why I'm pro poor. I should never have money. But um, okay, so what's what do you guys say is the, like the best cheapest program to be a little bit more specific for like Xbox and console, yeah, 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 not yeah. PC. We have we have that platinum technically. Hey, hey. All right, all right. Hey, thanks. Did we answer your question? Yes, thank you. Someone. All right, all right. Keep moving along. What we got? What we got? Uh, first off, shameless plug. Hello, Internet. YouTube.com slash The Sim Gamers. Uh, uh, YouTube.com slash The Sim Gamers, in case you didn't hear that. Uh, number one YouTube channel. Um, okay, I'm sorry, your question, please. <laughs> please. Um, what would you say is a good balance between, like, I know you mentioned scheduling, between keeping videos and footage in store pre edited in case something is screwed up? And um, having a short enough queue that you can still keep user feedback 
That's I'd... really a personal question. Yeah. There was one point we intended to have 20 videos in the bag, and that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's back when I, I really wanted to be died. hop. All right, um, I'd say at least one. I'd say at least one, and then after that, just kind of keep um, one, maybe two, if you get the short one. Post series or what's up? What do you? Oh, for let's plays? One, yeah. But oh, then yeah, just film the whole thing, like one day. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. So forty-eight hours of footage. One yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I got you, man. Uh, did we kind of answer your question? Eh, uh, kind of. Yeah, sorry, but sorry, man. We got your plug though. All right, what you got, man? All right, um, I just have some advice for cheap people. What's this up? little thing here is very much like a GoPro. You know, it's like $200. This right. is $50. Nice. It has the LED screen on the back. It's What's this is dirt. This is this is what I got and, you know, of course it doesn't have audio, but you know, if you want something like that, something like this. Another thing uh for so like music and whatnot for mm -hmm. putting songs in. Um I don't know if anyone's familiar with the community of Nerdfighter. Anyone? A uh, shout out to Nerdfighter. There, there, there we go. Okay. Uh but uh they have this um, Nerdfighter Records or something online. DFTBA. Yeah, <laughs> DFTBA. But uh, you can go on there, and there's a list of artists that they have, and you can use any of their songs. They give you full permission to use any oh. of it as long as you put their music in the background. And okay, that's cool. kind of what I'm working on. Oh, no, ab They're absolutely. Cool. That's if you can whatever you can find for free, like all those sound effects, found them for free on YouTube. And they were then they were th a lot of those guys are just like, hey, tell me your video that you put in my sound and that you put in my um uh, that you put in your video, and they just they're fine with that. They just want to know what you put, what you use it for. All right, hey, thanks a lot, man. All right, Canada, what's up? Yeah, Canada. Canada here. Uh, gonna start with the shameless plug, like everybody else. All right, <laughs> Fancy Saw Studios. I, I'm curious where I you love on the stream. <laughs> Fancy Saw Studios. Uh, Subscribe, and likes, favorite. A few things. Uh, first, I'm gonna start with the uh, suggestion. Uh, you guys use a piece of wood. Yes. Uh, I also suggest a uh, piece of poster board, like the tri board for like a science fair, because you That's can right. back the the cardboard side with tin foil, so you could use it as a shiny, and then you could use the white side for diffusion of light, which also helps. That's Ooh. that's very fair. That's a, that's actually a very fair point. I just like wood. <laughs> <laughs> wood is great. Wood is amazing. Um, wood is good. Anyway, all right. Just, and the second one is uh, before you got the good microphone. Mm -hmm. uh, what were you were you just using the? Okay. If you go back yep. to like, there's like a period of like four of our videos when we upload them, the audio is off by like half a second. When I say that I had extra money and then I just splurge, necessity might have been involved uh, just a little all bit. Right. All right, um, Canada. All right, thanks a lot, man. Hey, stick around just like just for one more question. No, 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 no just like uh, don't go anywhere. What's up, man? I, uh, I'm just curious. Uh, how'd you guys all meet? You guys were you in high school together? Oh yeah, actually, um, yeah, we started a video game tournament uh, for charity in our senior year. By the way, that's very easy to do. It was a big success. Yeah. Um, it was called MavCon. It's dead now. It's dead to me. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, we uh, we organized that. Literally, him I knew from a video production class, and he was just, I was just oh yeah, it's um uh, we shouldn't get into it. Okay, yeah. um because <laughs> we don't have time. And then he literally Patrick Patrick is one of the most um uh, polite people in the world, but he um very rudely, but I loved it. We I was talking with some friends and like saying hey we're gonna go play Guitar Hero um uh, with them. I didn't know him. He's like if you guys are playing Guitar Hero, I'm there. I was like <laughs> and I'm too polite to go. No, no, you're not. <laughs> but he came over and he was awesome, and I love him. He's he's one of these guys are my brothers. I've got you know, um, uh, no, not literally, but like you know, other mothers. But um, uh, but absolutely, yeah, just yeah. Uh, video game high school, uh, video game uh, high school, uh, video game high school, uh, video game tournament uh, that we ran in high school. Cool. The first thing I remember Justin ever saying to me was, "Hey man, you got a Wii?" And then <laughs> talking to me for two weeks. We needed we needed Wiis for the um for the event. All right, so real quick, uh, last thing we're gonna do is slow clap out of here. You know who's gonna start it? We've been Game of yes. Fumes! We've, um, yes. uh, yeah. Yes! Thank you so much, RTX 2013. We're going to be around. YouTube.com slash Game of Fumes. Please subscribe.